Thanks, Juan. Hey, everyone. My name is Ben. I'm from InterNACHI, and I'm a Florida licensed home inspector. I think my number is 1416. I'm an InterNACHI certified professional inspector, CPI. I'm a certified master inspector, CMI. I'm the COO of InterNACHI, and uh, basically I wrote a ton of courses for InterNACHI, so I'm in charge of the education as well. But my primary job, my primary job, is to help InterNACHI members succeed in their business. So right now you're at the Florida House of Horrors, which is a fantastic training facility. There's only three on planet earth, three houses of horrors and you're in one of them. It's an entire house built under our roof at ProLab, the world's largest professional uh, environmental testing laboratory. So you get the best of both worlds. You get InterNACHI and ProLab and take full advantage of the resources that are around you, including Juan Garcia. He is a certified master instructor. He's a master inspector. He owns and operates a successful home inspection business. And he's a fantastic coach as well for business. These are the things that I want to get across to you the resources that you can take full advantage of so that you can be successful. And I want to open up the class with questions, like your questions. I want to answer your questions. Do you have any questions for me? Like, do you have something in, that's burning in your mind? Maybe you're asking yourself, like, <laughs> can I get rich <laughs> being a home inspector in Florida, right? Uh, how do I get my first job as a home inspector? How do I get licensed? Why should I get InterNACHI certified? In addition to getting my state license, why should I be certified by InterNACHI? What does that do? Isn't the state license enough? Um, where's the nearest event for home inspectors? I want to rub shoulders with other people, like-minded people like me. Um, how much should I charge? How do I compete with other inspectors who are just trying to drive down the price in my area. Where do I get discounted inspection software? Where do I get discounted inspection tools? Can I do mold inspections while I'm doing a home inspection? How do I get a free business logo designed for me? Or a business card, how do I get that designed for me? Instead of designing it myself or having Vistaprint do it. Is there a really good online free home inspection business and marketing course that I can take at night while I'm trying to build my business, right? So if you have any questions like that, feel free to maybe raise your hand, tell one to, to ask those questions uh, and you can like write them down or maybe he'll, he'll give them to you, but I want to answer your questions, right? Um, and I have a question for you, right? So if you have, I know you're sitting at a, a class, may have a, a pen and paper, write this down, grab your pen, grab your paper. Okay, write this down in your notebook. Maybe you have a, a paper there. And write this down, it's an equation, right? Write down the number 30 multiplied by dollar sign equals, and then a blank line. And the question is, how much would it cost you to hire 30 people to work on building your successful home inspection business in Florida for the next year? How much would that cost you? Right? And that's a trick question that I have for you. The trick question, because like um, every internet team member, has access to 30 people at InterNACHI staff, good people who work every day really hard in helping members with their success. That's how much it costs. It's free for InterNACHI members. And that's a, let me, let me show you. That's a, that's, it is a, that is a fantastic resource that you should take full advantage of as an InterNACHI member.
because you wouldn't be able to hire them. Cost too much. But as an InterNACHI member, you got it. Here's InterNACHI staff. There's AJ. He manages our webinars. So if you need to learn about how to market to real estate agents, he's done a ton of webinars about that topic. There's Beth, there's me, there's Bogdan, there's Brenda, all these people who work at InterNACHI, you can contact any of them and ask the following question. Ask them, what can you do to help me with my home inspection business? with my education, my training, my certification, my license, my continuing education, my marketing, my business. What can you do to help me? That is the key to success, right? I hope I didn't embarrass any of the staff <laughs> scrolling. <laughs> That's the key to success in business or in any business. It's the ability to recognize resources that you can leverage in order to do things, you don't have to do yourself. Leverage resources that internet she provides. I mean, it's on our homepage. There's our mission, right? Our focus is helping inspectors succeed. And we do that by providing a ton of resources that you should take full advantage of. And one of them is internet she staff. There's 30 people just waiting for you to answer your questions, just like I am. That's my primary job. Like I said, I'm here to help. So if you have any questions, if you have any need, you have to think, I'm going to do it myself, or that's the school of hard knocks, doing it yourself, or I'm going to leverage all the resources that internet she provides to every member so I can be successful. That's the key to success in any business. Let me show you. So that's the answer, right? that question. Let me show you the other resources InterNACHI provides to members that you can take full advantage of because you're a member. Okay. So I want to take you to a, a URL, write this down, nachi.org slash Florida, N-A-C-H-I dot O-R-G slash Florida spelled out, nachi.org slash Florida. Here is a page that's specific to Florida, has Florida resources, and you should scroll, you should, tonight, your homework should be, take a half an hour and scroll down this page and click every link and ask yourself, is this good for my business? If it's good for your business, take full advantage of it. If it doesn't work for your business, discard it, skip it. So there's some hot news. Right? I don't know if you've heard of the My Safe Florida Home Program, but InterNACHI has blanketed the entire state and we can do, we can enroll you in the My Safe Florida Home Program, which is um, doing short, sweet, profitable inspections for homeowners who get a discount on their home insurance because it was inspected by an InterNACHI certified home inspector. So that's the first link. The second link is, a party, the biggest party in Florida. <laughs> that's, that's what it's going to be. I love hanging out with home inspectors and they're, we're expecting about a thousand or 2000 inspectors, about a thousand from Florida and a thousand from everywhere else. Cause y'all want to get warm in Florida, right? We've got a fantastic venue, a fantastic hotel with a pool right there in Orlando, Florida. October 10th through the 12th, I'll be presenting there about marketing and websites, but there's a ton of other training opportunities as well. And we feed you and it's for a few days and it's all for 175 bucks. Back to the page, nachi.org slash Florida. And we're scrolling down pre-licensing. You may be working to get a license in home in, in uh, a home inspector license in Florida. And the state requires 120 hours of education. If you're in the house of horrors right now, which you are, but some of you are joining in through zoom, 
or live on YouTube. And uh, you're wondering where to get that 120 hours, 40 hours at the House of Horrors, 80 hours online. Or you can go all online, 120 hours, state approved pre-licensing course, free to InterNACHI members. And we have a button there for other options as well. Florida Home Inspector Licensing Exam. I recommend taking InterNACHI's state approved Florida Home Inspector Licensing Exam. And you can ask Juan Garcia about how to prepare for the exam. In Florida, as in many states, about half the country requires insurance, e and insurance for home inspectors. Click that link to get a quote for home inspector insurance. It's required in Florida and other states as well. Become a certified home inspector through InterNACHI. Why? Why would I go through the big process of getting trained and certified? There's six steps to getting certified through InterNACHI. If I have a license in my hand, a state license, because that state license means that you have met the absolute legal minimum to do an inspection. That's a pretty low bar. No one's going to hire you because you do the absolute minimum. People are going to hire you because of everything else. That state license is the same license that a couple thousand other licensees hold. So put your feet in the consumer's shoes. How do you hire a home inspector in Florida? You hire a licensed one. Great. They meet the absolute legal minimum required to perform that service. All right. Very low bar, but really, how do I distinguish one inspector from the other? It's about value. It's about providing value to your clients, fulfilling their needs, solving their problems, answering their questions, being there when they need you at the right moment, at the right time, with the right service. Showing them that you're not just licensed like everybody else, but you're certified by the world's largest organization of certified residential and commercial property inspectors. That's a pretty big flex. To be a certified inspector through InterNACHI is not easy. So you want to show that difference. There's 19 of you at the House of Horrors right now. Look around. Why should I hire you instead of the other person? Because you're getting trained at the House of Horrors? Well, okay. That makes you a little different because you have a state license. Eh, insurance, that's eh, required. You have to think about value and communicating that value. When you become InterNACHI certified, there's six steps to become certified. A whole world of opportunity opens up to you. Another door opens up to you, and it's called the marketing door. Inside that staff of 30 people, there's a marketing team at InterNACHI. Out of those 30 people that I showed you, six of them are on the marketing team, headed by Jessica. She's the director of marketing. When someone gets certified, you reach out to, when, Jessica reaches out to you. Or you can reach out to her and ask Jessica, how can the marketing team work for me for free and get, I need a logo, I need a business card, I need a flyer, I need a, a vehicle wrap, I need a website, I need all this stuff designed for me. How, how does the marketing team, how can I leverage the marketing team to help me be successful so that I can distinguish myself from the rest? by communicating overwhelming value to the clients who are looking to hire me and trying to decide whether they should hire me or the next person. So get certified by InterNACHI because the marketing door opens up. And that's the key to being different, unique, special. We call it 
um, unique selling propositions. You start to develop your brand, start to answer the question, why should I hire you instead of the next person who's equally qualified? And that takes help. You can do it on your own. You can do it on your own. Or you can leverage the resources that Internetu provides to Internetu members. And this resource, the marketing team, works for certified inspectors only. Certified inspectors only. So get certified through Internetu. So click that link. We help you renew your Florida license. So I think all of you are trying to get a license. So when after you become a, I'm a licensed home inspector in Florida, I have to take a class or a course. I take the free online course provided by Internachi to renew my license. Free live webinars. Let's say your question in your head that you were thinking about and we mentioned earlier was, how do I market to real estate agents? Well, you go to our webinar page, right? Natchitoorg slash webinars. And looks like that. And you scroll down to the search field down here. Let me, let me use this fancy thing. You can see what, what I'm pointing to, right? You go down to the search thing and you type in, um, you're wondering how to market to real estate agents. So just type in agents. Okay. And webinars about that topic, agents, pop up. And these webinars are not just from me. They're from successful home inspectors, internet team members who have gone through the process of being successful and they want to share how they became successful in relation to marketing to real estate agents. So for example, we've got Ryan here. He has a presentation about engaging the next generation of agents and buyers. We have George here. He talks about home inspection reports for real estate agents. Because real estate agents, my real estate agents, loved my inspection reports because I wrote them to be um, easily read and clear to understand, chopped up in nice chapters in the cloud so that they can access them and had a summary. So he talks about that kind of stuff, how to target and acquire top agents to build your business, right? Here's, here's more. We have a bunch of real estate agents on the webinar and we talk to them. There's a lot of really great information on our webinar page about that. So go to our live webinars for Florida inspectors and do a search for a topic or a question that you have in your head. You'll probably get the answer that way. If you want to network with certified and licensed home inspectors in Florida, we have a link here and we have a list, a long list of friendly competitors. You can even search for them by address or zip code, see who's around you. So you can spy on your competition, right? So if we take a look at Richard here, his, <laughs> that's funny, his, uh, Company name is I Spy Home Inspections, by coincidence. If you go to his website, there's his logo, I Spy Inspections. You can see what is he doing that is really cool. And then maybe I could like copy off of him. Like he's got this really cool graphic of wind mitigation and four point inspection. Maybe I should put that on my website, right? He's got an, a button that says instant online scheduling and quote, right? That's pretty cool because that's what a website should do. It should make scheduling with you, hiring you very easy. You should think of a website as an employee who works for you 24 seven, and they have only one job. Your website is an employee who works for you all the time and they have one job and that's to schedule, convert, convert that website visitor into a scheduled client and schedule that job because it's A and B. Uh, join a local chapter in Florida. You're not alone. We have a ton of chapters. Some of them are active. Some of them are not. North Florida chapter. I think that's Wally Conway. You can see his past events. Well, Wally hasn't been very active. Last event was in December 2022. So you can call up Wally, contact the chapter and say, hey, Wally, when's your next chapter event? I want to go to something that you're doing. Here's Sun Natchi. Huge chapter in Sun Natchi, Florida's best and brightest inspectors join Sun Natchi chapter, and they have a ton of events, right? Uh, Southeast Florida, hey, there's Juan Garcia, right? And you must have missed out on the last chapter event. I think he, Juan, went through the House of Horrors with an electrician. 
oh, that would have been really good. That's a great resource. Our chapters have this fantastic experience opportunity that you can't get online or in a formal classroom. You can have fun, uh, fun with uh, in camaraderie and, and learn something new while maybe um, sharing a meal together. So take a look at the Florida chapters. Or if you need a mentor in Florida, maybe the mentor lives in Florida or maybe uh, an adjoining state somewhere near like you know Tennessee or Georgia or somewhere nearby, or maybe right in your zip code, we have a home inspector mentoring program. These are successful veteran inspectors who have agreed to volunteer their time to help other inspectors. That's an amazing thing. So it's a free mentoring program. And you can find mentors by zip code or by state. We've got legal documents. You know, Florida DBPR puts up documents and we've got a link to those. Here's the mold inspection stuff for in Florida. If you're going to do a, if you're going to market yourself as a mold assessor, you have to get licensed. But if you happen to do a home inspection and happen to see mold during an inspection, we have a declarative statement um, from the state about performing mold inspections during a home inspection. And it says, you may inspect, sample, and identify visible mold, assuming the visible mold discovered during the home inspection is less than 10 square feet. And you're allowed to advertise just as long as you don't say that you're a certified mold assessor or registered mold assessor or licensed mold assessor. So there's some restrictions to that. But if you're a home inspector and you see mold, you should tell your client. So that kind of information is really valuable down in Florida. Wind mitigation inspections, you should get into that. Those are very profitable. Four point inspections, same thing. It, that's specific to Florida as well. Wood destroying organisms, you should know what's eating houses down in Florida. And if you see a parent wood destroying organism destruction, um, we have the Florida Department of Agriculture. They emailed us saying what a home inspector can say and not say in their inspection report about WDO or WDI, wood destroying organisms or wood destroying insects. Home inspections, we price our services in the hundreds of dollars, right? When you do commercial property inspections, you price it in the thousands of dollars. And there's two really good resources if you wanted to get into inspecting commercial buildings. There's a lot of vacant ones just sitting around now. And the owners probably want to know what their condition is. So you may want to move into this market, this vertical market. So there's the commercial property inspector through InterNACHI, and there's the Certified Commercial Property Inspector Association, CCPIA. I highly recommend. This is our sister organization, and they're very good at training um, home inspectors become commercial property inspectors and individuals who are just starting off right into the commercial property inspection industry. They have live training all over the, the United States and Canada, and they have online training as well, CCPIA. If you're interested in like helping home owners save, them, save some energy, like uh, reducing the air conditioning bill down in Florida, we have that certification and training program, really good information. We also have home maintenance books. One is specific to Florida. You won't find anything about basements or oil fired boilers in the home maintenance book. And one is in Spanish. If you wanted to reach out to real estate agents, here's one way of doing it. Offer them free real estate CE. Licensed real estate agents, just like licensed home inspectors, we have to take CE and you can give a card to an agent that you meet during an inspection or in somewhere in your neighborhood and offer them access to free CE to help renew their license. And that's a good conversation starter. And it just goes on and on. We have a Florida message board, a Florida building code, a licensing contractor, uh, they approved us. You can be a radon tester in Florida if you wanted to. There's vocational the voc rehab. And then there's the BizVelop. This is a really cool tool. It's an online tool. It takes you through a series of questions 
asks you what you're doing in your business and your marketing and provides a strategy to what to do next. And that's probably a really good segue for us. What should I do next? If you're in the house of horrors right now and you're getting trained and certified with hands-on really good training at a unique training facility where there's a thousand defects in a house that was purposely installed in that house. What do you do next? Well, let me show you another resource, leveraging those resources so you can be successful. And we outlined it in just five steps. If you do the first five steps, you can start making money. Okay. So go to natchi.org slash everything, natchi.org slash everything. And this applies to every internet member, regardless of your location. You can be in Florida or you can be um, in Europe. There's five steps to go through. And then at that point, you can start making money as a home inspector. So at natchi.org slash everything, there's 15 steps, but the first five steps are most important. First one is easy. That's a slam dunk. You join InterNACHI. It's like a huge library, amusement park of fun educational training certification rides that you can take all day long if you're a member of InterNACHI, right? We talked about getting trained and certified, how important that is in comparison to just being licensed. Just because you got a license doesn't mean that's a guarantee you'll be successful. And then in step two, we added a resource about how to get experience. Because if you're brand new, man, it's like, when, when do you do your first job and get money? When do you know that you're ready? When do you know you're ready to actually publish that website and schedule a job and start making money? Hmm. You need experience. One of the easiest things to do is inspect your home 10 times. Use InterNACHI's free inspection checklist. No cost, it's free. And inspect your home 10 times. Get some kind of experience in using software, inspecting systems according to the standards of practice, make mistakes, you know, when there's no risk, you're just practicing. Maybe at the house of horrors, use a checklist to inspect something like you use the electrical panel board inspection checklist. If you don't know where that is, just email me, I'll, I'll send it to you. And then you can print it out uh, tonight and then use it tomorrow to inspect a panel board or the roof inspection check or the garage door inspector. They're like there's 10 steps to inspect a garage door opener. Like you know, that's those 10 steps could be on a piece of paper and you just do them while you're at the house of horrors. You need training experience without risk right? Without a, an actual paying client. And so if you click step two in that list, that'll take you to a place where we write out some of the recommendations on how to get experience before your first paying job. You need some tools. I got my toolbox in the back there, but basically I made a ton of cash with a flashlight, a GFCI tester, and a voltage leak tester. You know, you, you tap it, non-contact, you know, just to see if a, a wire is live or not. Those three tools, that's really all you need. Make some money with those three tools and then buy more tools. You know, maybe a, a ladder or a drone or um, an infrared camera. That infrared cameras, infrared cameras are, I highly recommend, you know, working towards getting an infrared camera at our e-commerce partner store, Inspector Outlet get a discount on an infrared camera, buy the cheapest one. It actually helps you do a better inspection because with infrared, you can see things that you wouldn't normally be able to see without it. You can see things that are warm, see things that are cold. And if it's cold, it could be groundwater coming up. If it's hot, it could be an electrical problem, or maybe there's a missing insulation in the attic or something like that. So you can see things that you wouldn't normally be able to see. And it's okay to use tools during an inspection, according to a standards of practice. The word flashlight doesn't appear in the standards of practice. So you're exceeding the standards of practice if you use a flashlight. So don't worry about exceeding the standards of practice by using a flashlight, 
basic tools, like an infrared camera. Step four is calculating profitable fees. And this is a huge issue down in Florida because there some, somehow there's a trend going on. It's been going on for some time where people compete on price instead of value, like we spoke about earlier. What you want to do is provide your potential clients. You want to show your potential clients overwhelming value. If the perceived, you don't want to compete on price because if everything is the same, if you're standing in line with 50 other inspectors, 18 other inspectors, and you're all trained at the house of horrors and you all have a home inspector license, you know, what distinguishes you from all the rest? If you're all the same, the only thing that distinguishes you is price. And that's no good. You start competing with each other on price and it drives everything down. So don't do that. What you want to do is always provide incredible value, as much value as possible, so you can increase your inspection fees. So that's part of step four. How do I calculate profitable inspection fees? It has everything to do with the idea of providing valuable information. If the perceived value of the information you're providing to your client is overwhelming in comparison to the cost, it's a smart decision to hire you. If the perceived value and actual value, if but it's, you know, it's the potential customer. So if the perceived value, like someone's visiting your website and they're looking at your website or flyer or business card and they're perceiving the value, right? Are you communicating the value? That's why it's important to get a marketing team to help you communicate your brand, your marketing, your communication of why you should be hired. Don't do it yourself. Leverage International's marketing team. If the perceived value is overwhelming in comparison to the cost, that's a good decision to hire you. If the perceived value is iffy in relation to the cost, you have a problem with your brand. If people don't value your service in relation to the cost, you're doing something incredibly wrong. Maybe your fees are way whack, too high in relation to the value that you're communicating. Maybe you're not communicating your value at all. It's really all about value. No. What am I going to get as a client out of hiring you? So it's funny, but that's kind of like internet right? We want to overwhelm our members with incredible, valuable resources in comparison to the cost of being a member. And hopefully we do that for you. We work hard to do that for you. Step five is uh, about the basics of marketing. You need a, a domain. You need a website. If you don't have a website, I don't know how you're in business. It's amazing. I guess there are some successful inspectors, but I think they're marginal and exceptional to the rule. If you have a, a successful business, I bet you have a website. And if you want to be even more successful, you should have a website that's designed to communicate that value and convert that visitor into a scheduled client. So it, has, it should have an online scheduling feature. You need a logo, you need a website. Well, a website, once you get a the, the, the domain, you register your website domain and you get a logo and you get about, think about your brand because you've been thinking about, you know, what makes you different from all the rest and having help from InterNACHI's, um marketing team. You put all that good stuff on a website. Your website, that's how I judge a lot of home inspectors by their website. I can see whether you're communicating value or not, whether you're, whether you've calculated the right inspection fee or not. I can see whether I should hire you or not. I can judge within seconds based upon your website. You need to design a website. If you click that link, we'll show you where to get a free website. I like Wix, W-I-X.com. And then you got to build a website. That's the problem. Should you do it yourself or should you leverage a resource? And I recommend leveraging a resource. 
So if you Google, if you go to Google and you need a website, you go to Google and you type in inspector website builder, inspector website builder, inspector website builder is InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs. They design all of InterNACHI inspectors websites. They've designed thousands of websites. They're very good and very affordable. They design customized websites for only InterNACHI members. And they do it for a couple hundred bucks. One-time fee. That's it. That's pretty good. I would leverage a resource so that you can work on other things. Free job leads. Once you get a website designed and you have that domain, you update your InterNACHI profile and then InterNACHI gets working on the internet to drum up business for you because you have done all the five steps. So now it's up to us to help generate job leads. That means we take somebody who's searching for a home inspector in that zip code. We find the home inspector in that zip code who has a website and we send that person there to visit that website. And you can monitor that analytic. You can monitor through your dashboard, InterNACHI dashboard. You can monitor how many people InterNACHI sends to your website. If you have a ton of people visiting your website, but you got no jobs, your website isn't doing very well. Your website isn't doing its job. Remember, your website's an employee. It should be doing one job, converting visitors into clients. So if you have a ton of people visiting your website, and you don't get any jobs, something's wrong. That's really good. That's good analytics. It's called data. That's good data. You can take action on that data. There's something wrong with your design or your website. Maybe click the schedule button yourself. Maybe it's not working, right? If you have very few people scheduling a job with you, think of your website and your marketing and you have a marketing team that's been working with you. So you go to them and tell them, hey, here's what's happening. What can you do to help me be more successful in my business? These are some of the resources that InterNACHI provides to all InterNACHI members, including members in Florida, including students at the House of Horrors. The key to success in any business is leveraging those resources, processes, systems, so that you don't have to do all the work yourself. It would cost you, you wouldn't be able to afford hiring and developing all these resources on your own. That's why you're an InterNACHI member. So I wanna thank you for being an InterNACHI member and also wanna open it up to questions. Do you have any questions for me? Is there something else that I didn't go over or didn't touch on that you need an answer to either right now, or you can email it to me later and I'm on the contact page, but I'll just, I'll just give you my email address. It's ben at internachi.org. I say that to you in class. I say that to every member. I think we're live on YouTube. I'm saying that to, because that's my job. Started off this present short presentation saying that's my primary role is to help members be successful. So just email me or reach out to anybody on staff. That's our job. So uh, let's see. Oh, I have a question. Nathan, he, Nathan's online and he asked a question through the Q&A feature. What's the easiest way to get a list of realtors and insurance companies in the panhandle? I would ask a mentor that. When I was a home inspector, the easiest way for me was to go to the state website and download a list. That's old school. The new way is uh, there's a couple ways that I that I teach, and I have expert marketers on the internet webinars talk about it. One fantastic way is to use a resource like Realtor.com, right? Realtor.com, you can search for all the licensed real estate agents, all the realtors in your zip code. And then you filter that list 
and you filter it by the number of sales. It could be um, dollar amount sales or transactions. And so at the top of the list are the high producing, top quality, fantastic real estate agents. And you scroll down all the way to the very bottom. And it turns out the top 20, top 15, 20% of those agents do all, most of the sales, most of the transactions. That's where you want to send your marketing. You want to market to people who are actually doing relatively well. Most agents, there's, there's, I think there's 2 million in the United States, are not doing anything. They're sitting at home. Maybe they want to be hired part-time by a home inspection company to be a growth agent. We talk about that in an international webinar in the marketing course. So go to realtor.com, search for those top producing real estate agents, and then start a conversation. This is a long way to your ultimate goal of having real estate agents send you information, uh, send you clients, right? Referrals. One easy way of getting real estate agents to refer their clients to you is to provide them with something that um, helps reduce the perceived risk of giving referrals. So if I was an agent, it's risky to give my, to send my clients to you, especially if you're new, unless you have something that I can see as a real estate agent that reduces that risk. So I, I refer you to natchi.org slash buy. Natchi.org slash buy is the will buy your home guarantee that if you miss anything, Internachi buys the home back. I would check that out. It helps reduce that risk, that perceived risk that an agent may have in referring work to you. So that's one of the resources that Internachi has. Another resource that you can leverage. And hopefully that answered your question, Nathan. Um, Rob asks, how much does membership cost? $49 a month or $4.99 a year. And what does it, and does that include the state training so I can get started in live? So, yep. So it depends on where you live, but here's a, a little key. If you live in Florida, you type natchi.org slash Florida. If you type in Texas, natchi.org slash Texas. You type in um, New York, natchi.org slash New York, one word. And you get information about becoming licensed. Randy says, there isn't much resources for mentor in Minnesota. Yep. It's really a um, membership driven service. So if there aren't any certified inspectors in Minnesota or in your zip code who are volunteering to be a mentor, I would search outside that zone and don't ask, like search for somebody in Florida, right? To be your mentor, but don't think that that mentor who's outside of your state knows state specific information, but business is business. Marketing is marketing. Good marketing works everywhere. So if you want to bounce ideas off of a mentor, you don't have to necessarily find a mentor in your neighborhood. Juan, what do you think? Any questions? You guys have any questions here that I can share? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think it's just uh, for anyone in the industry, what would you speak of the recommendation? Is it best to shadow someone? Is it best to just go straight home? Uh, I have one that is, he said that he's new in the industry. Yeah. Will be better for him to shadow someone, to work for somebody else, or to go on his own? Yep. Yeah, that's a good question. I love shadowing. I love uh, when I was a full-time home inspector running a successful home inspection business, I always brought in individuals who wanted to be a home inspector. They became my helper for the day and they learned a lot. Maybe they stayed for a day or a week, right? Um, and I didn't pay them. It was just free you know, training. Um, and maybe that's available. That's why we have a link to local certified inspectors. Right, so you can reach out to your zip code area, maybe join a chapter or something and find those 
friendly competitors. There are a lot of home inspectors who think that they don't want anybody with them in the truck because they're going to essentially train a, um, a competitor. But there are many who don't have that problem, right? I think Juan Garcia, right there, your instructor, you know, he, he has a training program. So there are other inspectors out there who are willing to give you a ride along. That's a really great idea. If you wanted to work for somebody, that's fantastic too. You have to find that firm that is growing or has a lot of inspectors and who um, advertises that they're looking for inspectors. InterNACHI has a forum. It's um, go to nachi.org page, go under more, scroll down to forum. And I believe it's classified. I believe there's classified, right? And here we go. It says looking for a partner for new home inspection business in PA. So this, this person is looking for a partner in Pennsylvania, right? Um, there's another one, selling businesses in the villages of Florida. So I would go to this resource and look for maybe a firm that's looking to hire in your area. So, and that's a really great idea. You know, work for a company and then, you know, be, be transparent, tell them, Hey, and maybe in a year or two or three, I'll be thinking about breaking off and doing my own business. That'd be great. Um, and um, being on your own, but working for someone else or being on your own, essentially you have to learn the same stuff. What's really valuable to a potential employer is that you know how a business runs and you know the value of good marketing and you know how to communicate to customers. And those skills you can develop on your own. And you can apply them as an employee of a firm, or you can apply them as a owner and operator of your own business. And so I direct you to InterNACHI's education page. Go to anynachi.org page under get started, go to the education tab and just type in what you want to learn about. Communication? We have a customer service and communication for inspectors course. How about business? Business, home inspection business and marketing course uh, for Canada specifically or for everywhere else. So um, good questions. Good questions. Maybe one, you have some advice about shadowing. Uh, there's a Facebook that has some groups also like yeah. Inspector Brotherhood. They have some guys that they allow you to do ride alongs. Uh, there's some inspectors might charge you a fee for right along because it takes them longer to explain to you what is it that they're doing. So it's not you're not really helping, you're slowing them down. So there might be a, a small fee for it. I would recommend to maybe do one or two right alongs and then call friends and family and just practice with friends and families. Mm -hmm. And you can practice with them and ask them to leave it to leave a review for you online. So by the time you have five, 10 inspections, you you'll feel a lot more comfortable uh, in the business. That's yep. that would be my suggestion. Yep. Great. Any other question, guys? This is a pretty quiet uh, group. Ben. <laughs> That's, all right. Is, uh, That's yeah, all right. That's all right. all right. That's all right. We're all thinking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. Smart. Okay. He's asking about free leads. Are there geographically like given out or it just random? Um, so in, uh, let me see, let me show you. So Alicia, my wife is a certified professional inspector. Um, she doesn't do home inspections. Um, let's say you log in to your internet dashboard and you scroll down to listings right down here and you add zip codes, right? She has Raleigh here. So you want to add up to 10 zip codes. Most people who are searching for a home inspector are going to type in home inspector in zip code or home inspector in a town that has a zip code. When that happens on Google or a search engine, internet, she tries to capture that person. We have systems in place. I don't know how it works, software. We have systems that like, tries to capture that person 
and gets their attention and sends them to your website. And your profile and settings in your dashboard should have your website, right? It has to have there. This is her website. So when you get a website, update your profile and then add listings and internet cheese presence on the internet. We're huge. Someone's searching for a home inspector in that area. We're going to try to send them to your website. And then it's all up to you, right? And then you can monitor how many people visit your website. So here's Alicia's analytics about people visiting her website. Looks like there's a huge increase for some reason. Oh, I know why. Because she's helping we helping me um, manage a chapter. So people in North Carolina, you can see, are searching using this resource of InterNACHIS to search for a home inspector. And they're landing on Alicia's website. So it just rocketed up. She has a ton of people almost every day. She's got, today was 67 leads. Oh, in January, sorry, in just in January. So that's a lot of leads. So again, Internet, she's trying to send people to your website. So you need a good website that converts visitors into scheduled clients. And um, we try to send people there, but you have to update your profile with a website address. You have to enter in zip codes. Okay. Any more question, guys? No, they're good, man. Okay. Email me, Ben at internachi.org. Ben at internachi.org if you have any questions. Uh, was, thank you very much. Thanks, Juan, for thank uh, you. asking I'll, me to present. I'll call you in a few minutes. All right. See ya. Bye, cool. everybody. Thank you. Bye,